Okay, now this video is showing you how to cast on, set up, and knit in double brioche, which looks like this. I'm sorry to alarm you with all of these live stitches. Uh, I was in the middle of frogging this. It shows up fine right now, but the yarn is so dark that if it's not taking up a majority of the screen, you can't really see what I'm doing with it. So, I've opted to rework it in this yarn so that you can actually see what I'm doing. Also, I didn't shoot a video of the other yarn with casting on and setting up. So, as always, use two needles held together, cast on, and in double brioche you do need to cast on your stitches in a multiple of four instead of two. Well, I suppose a multiple of two would work, but I like to do it in fours. Anyway, let's see, one, two, I wasn't counting, so four, eight, twelve, sixteen, and then two more for my selvage stitches. Remove that first needle, and we're on to the setup row kind of getting tangled up here. But anyway, double brioche is going to feel very familiar to you if... Ugh. Okay. Double brioche is going to feel very familiar to you if you've had significant practice with regular brioche ribbing. It's going to be like meeting an old friend, but then finding out your friend has a twin so you have to do everything in multiples of two now. So, this is where we would normally knit a stitch, and instead of doing the traditional slip one and yarn over, I'm actually going to knit a second stitch. Like I said, multiples of two. And when we get to this, bring the yarn forward, and you will slip two stitches, and then perform a single yarn over. Knit two, slip two, and a yarn over. Knit two, slip two, and a yarn over. Knit two, slip two, and a yarn over, and my edge. And that brings us to. Get out of here. Ah. I am just knocking into things. Anyway, ignore that. It brings us to the regular working row. Now you've got two stitches with a single yarn over over the top of them. You'll pick up the yarn over and the first stitch in your right needle and knit through them. A lot of times that yarn over is going to want to hop off your second stitch. You don't want that. You'll actually knit into the same yarn over and the second stitch. You've done this before. Slip two and a yarn over. And we're back to this. A lot of times it's helpful to kind of pinch the yarn over to your left needle with uh, one of your fingers on your left hand so that it doesn't jump off. I keep it put. And you just keep working like this. Now, I do have a bit of a uh, cheater's method for how to work this stitch. I've done it before and it hasn't affected my tension or the elasticity of the uh, fabric. So, I'm going to show you it. Now, rather than slipping two, I'm going to slip one, do a yarn over. Just like you're used to in regular brioche knitting. And I'm going to do that again right here. Feels nice and comfortable. None of this slip two business. Okay. Get my tail out of here. I use way too much yarn for long tail. Cast ons. Alright. So, we're back to this, except now instead of two stitches with one yarn over, you have two 
adjacent stitches each with their own yarn over. Now you might think that's a problem, but when those yarn overs are both knitted together and there's nothing in between these stitches for the yarn overs to hook into, they actually join together into a single yarn over, which you can see on the back here. Now it looks kind of loose and big, but trust me, that swatch I showed you at the beginning, that whole thing was knit with my kind of cheater method, and then I knit another swatch and did it the traditional way. No difference. So it's really up to you whether you prefer working two yarn, overs, two yarn overs in a row and two brioche knit stitches, or if you prefer taking the hard road. I'm just kidding. It's perfectly acceptable. I just don't like it, but that's me. Anyway, to show you once more, this is what it'll look like. You can think of it as brioche 2x2 two two ribbing, um, reversible, and has these nice wide ditches in between, but as there's only one yarn over, you just get the impression of it being a uh, horizontally stretched I'm not sure what to call it, but it looks nice. Uh, and as with regular brioche knitting, you can do pretty much anything with it. You can work it in two colors. You can do syncopated double brioche. Uh, anything you want, really. I'm not going to do, do uh, videos of those things. But anything you learn how to do in regular brioche you should be able to extrapolate and apply to double brioche knitting. Uh, if you find you can't extrapolate on it, I don't know if I can help you. But anyway, um, so that's it.